last session, the party traveled to and eventually arrived at Mule Ball, a small village on the edge of the desolate wastes. On the way, they encountered some of the rare creatures that still live in the wastelands, and also found a small treasure chest in a rather suspicious looking crevice. Ooh, didn't find it, didn't touch it, not my problem. Nope. Upon reaching Mulewold, they realized that the inhabitants were quite suspicious towards strange looking travelers coming from the wastes, and Amberlosa was sent in alone to shop for the party. The shops opened in the morning, and Amberlosa had a threadbare blanket and straw mattress for the night. The rest of you are not so lucky. You follow the guard's instructions, leaving the path to head deeper into the woods at the base of the looming mountain range. You have three different options of varying difficulty for how you are going to attempt to find this cave. You can either make a group perception, survival, or investigation check. I will say that perception has the highest likelihood nice. for speed, but also potentially the highest DC. And, this and is... the opposite is true with investigation. This is nighttime, correct? Yeah, it's dark, this dark, hold Yeah, like it's dark, dark. Is the clock accurate on the calendar right now? Um, I don't actually know what the clock is at right now. I'm opening uh, the... Uh... 21 hours, so 9 p.m. Yes, that is actually accurate. Okay. This is. I have a question since I'm the token idiot without dark vision. <laughs> um. Village idiot. Do you, uh. Do I still have disadvantage on an investigation check in this instance? Yes. All right. So you it really doesn't matter. You have you have disadvantage <laughs> on all three of these. Do you want us all to roll or just? Yes, you are all rolling. I'm taking the average. Ooh. Anybody? Oh. <laughs> Oof. Good job, question mark, question mark. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Hugh. <laughs> <laughs> it takes yeah, you three hours. Eventually, however, you do find the cave. After some excited shouting from, well, it was originally gonna be Q because you had the highest pass perception, but uh, after that crit nope. fail. <laughs> Who has the second highest? I think it's Teo. Yeah. Except Teo wouldn't shout excitedly. So, uh, some dignified calling from Teo. <laughs> the party is left standing at what looks like the glorified entrance to a badger den set into the side of a hill. Earth and stone is shoveled away from the opening, and it could probably fit, like, smaller pack animals. Like a mule. Probably couldn't fit a full horse, though. Uh, it actually has a dirt path near the entrance. Maybe a sign that previous groups have found shelter here after being turned out from mule mold. And anybody in the party with dark vision can see that the area inside looks surprisingly spacious. Do you head inside? Just real yes. quick, there are no badgers left here, right? You do not see any badgers. And the inside of the cave itself, it doesn't actually look like a badger den. It's just the entrance is that kind of like how it's set into the side of the hill. And it's like kind of like a down and gotcha. in. Gotcha. Okay. It's the, the entrance is what looks like like a badger den, not the cave itself. The cave itself actually looks like it's... It looks like a lot of people have stayed here in the past. The roof of the cave is just under six feet high, so, uh, you know, sorry to the taller party members. Um, there's the remains of an old fire pit in the center of the floor, and the walls do look like they've been, like, rocks have been moved and jagged parts have been smoothed out so that it's a little bit safer for people to stay here overnight. <clears throat> Um, other than that, the only other thing of note, uh, there's several rotting wooden boards propped up and held against the far wall, held in place by a cluster of rocks. It's empty as far as you can tell. 
All right, so first watch. Yvette and Q. You you mentioned there was some like rotten wood in the corner. There is. Is it like just piled up or is it like boarding something up? It is several slats of it is several wooden slats that appear to be arranged side to side against the wall, held up by some rocks. <laughs> So, there. It could conceivably be hiding something behind it. And it's just stacked there? Mm hmm. Uh, I'm Help going to one. unstack it. Yeah, big fucking surprise. <laughs> there is indeed a passage deeper into the cave. I know exactly what there I'm is going a, to do. Uh, there is a small X carved into the top of each of the wooden boards. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to say, Yvette, don't worry about me. I'm going to take the coins out and I'm going to start putting them behind me as I go down this little hole. Um, sorry, what? Don't worry about it. Oh, no, 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 no. That, that's not a don't worry about it. You, you should, um... I'm squeezing down this hole. I'm trying to keep them six inches apart I'm trying to keep them six inches apart again. Wait a second. I probably Wait can't do it exact, but I want to try. It's it's I'm, not my problem. I'm going to grab her. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please. <laughs> Please, take a moment. We can think about this. I have thought about this. This is a different hole in the ground. This is a deeper hole in a hole. It's a yeah, hole in a hole. That's why it's perfect. Okay, but wait. So we could send Block A down there. First, okay, and you know if it's good, if block is okay, then you know maybe you could go. But it, I, that's I'm actually comfortable with sending someone who is actually fucking blind down there, guided only by a trail of coins. Okay, because it's a trail of coins, and you're still fucking, you still can't see in the dark. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm good. We're not. We're not yeah, I'm out of the hole, and I'm, we can't I'm waiting. Okay. okay, we'll send Block A down there. Alright, you can directly control him to a certain point, but once you extend that range, you lose control of him. Oh. Well, if I lose control of him, does he just run back, or...? He will if you don't give him orders beforehand. Okay. Alright, Block A. If I happen to get disconnected from you somehow, just explore and report back. Fox blinks at you. I would like to let both people who own familiars know of this. Familiars are not the sharpest tools in the shed. You control your familiar and take off into the cave proper, or further into the cave. It is definitely going to be a tight fit for Teo and Carrion if you want to attempt to get them through here. You can already tell that as you're walking. It's probably going to be pretty difficult for you, too, with, it, with your uh, headpiece that you wear. I mm -hmm. love that all these places are conveniently sized for me to go through. Eventually, you do get to the point where your vision with your familiar is disconnected. And he continues forward, blissfully unaware, just kind of trotting along. <sighs> Until eventually he leaves your, your telepathic range. <clears throat> could you two make me perception checks for your watch, though? And could you also make me a perception check for your familiar? Uh, if we're in here and there's a fire, do I still do this at disadvantage? You do not the do this at disadvantage. second one is mine. The second one is yours? Yeah. Alright. Damn. Oop, now that I'm looking at it, I should have taken the first one. <laughs> <laughs> your, fo your fox, uh... <laughs> your fox has good eyes. Good block, eh? But your watch ends without you, uh... 
being attacked by weird cave monsters. Does the fox oh, come back? That's good. The fox does not come back with by the end of your watch. I'm gonna poof him back to my side. I really want to go down this hole. You know, trust me. I think it's a great idea too, which is why I know we shouldn't do it. What do I have to do to um, pretend to be asleep? <laughs> Performance? Performance. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, is that an insight from me and a perception for my... <laughs> What, what, what are That's we going to call that, Tess? <laughs> yes. How do we roll to see if right. still asleep? I feel like he just laid down and went... Well... <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> Amazing consistency. <laughs> with the perfect number as well. You're doing great, Tweety. Yes, you notice. <laughs> I'm trying to like clank clank and like army crawl, but I'm still in my armor towards this hole. <laughs> Mademoiselle, what are you doing? <gasps> my eyes are still open. I'm looking at you and waiting for you to go away. <laughs> I don't need to go to extreme lengths to keep you from getting into trouble, do I? No. So will you kindly, properly, go back to sleep? I will get up and I will go to the opposite side of the hole and I will lay down and I'll just pass out. Or I guess I'll take my armor off at normal and pass out. Mm. Alright. Thank god I had hold person and I was ready. <laughs> <laughs> Where was your cursor hovering over the spell? Oh yeah it was. <laughs> <laughs> I had it prepared. I was ready. <sighs> you are also not attacked by cave monsters. Oh, what joy. You see, the way you say that makes us feel like there may be cave monsters here. <laughs> we, would really? if I, if, we would know if I went down the hole. I'm just saying. I'm, you know, I'll I'm send just... you alone next time. I'm just having some, like, until dawn moments just flashing <laughs> in my brain. Oh, wait, you rolled a 25. I'm sorry. Oh god. You are attacked by cave monsters. <laughs> yes. Um, no, you are not attacked by cave monsters, but you do hear singing. Yes. I hear singing? Mm-hmm. Like, what kind of singing? Uh, the make me a wisdom save kind of singing. Fuck. Fuck, <laughs> yes. This is one time I didn't want to do good on perception, I guess. <laughs> uh, wisdom save, you said? Yes. Ooh. Okay. So I don't have to react, do I? No. Do I hear where it's coming from? I'll give you three guesses. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna First put two the don't count. <laughs> I'm gonna put the pallet pallets back over the hole. Alright. Slowly, calmly. Just... Wait, so would Shutting I... that down. Would I have heard that through the uh familiar then? No. Oh. But dawn breaks. Are we all still here? You're all still alive. <laughs> hey guys, I really enjoyed that night at the end. Got a DC <laughs> We didn't have to take a watch. It was awesome. I'm gonna go and be like, Yvette, Yvette. What did, what, what, what did, what did the fox say? <sighs> when I hit level five, I'm fireballing your ass. Question <laughs> mark. Honestly, I'm just impressed. I knew what a fox was. Um. <laughs> So what did the proverbial fox say? Uh, the proverbial fox said that he traveled down the passage, and there was a lot of stone, and he was really excited about all the stone, because it all smelled like stuff that he'd never smelled before in his life. But, he didn't find anything interesting. Well, what was the smells like? They smelled smelly. 
With a with a twenty two, fuck you, fox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, having gotten the all clear from the fox, I'm going to undig the hole again. The fox did give the all clear. Let's go. You are all awake, Amberlosa. You, you are currently arguing with the shopkeeper. You two are absolute idiots. Oh uh, yeah, definitely arguing with the shopkeeper for a, a couple things. I'm sure because. Me, probably about the rations. The rations seem a little expensive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, once it's cleared, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna leave the coins. Uh, all right. Slowly. You are all awake. I'm aware. Do you two? Really, really think that's a good idea. I mean, couldn't be a horrible idea. No, there is something strange down there, and it was sealed for a reason. Did you go into the hole too? No, because I'm not an idiot. Oh. Would you like to come down the hole with us? Absolutely, under no circumstances would I ever go down that hole. Cool, have fun. How far does this hole go? Um, you keep walking. You haven't found an end yet. I'm trying to think if I'm putting them six inches apart, that gets me about 75 feet of coin. Yes, you you run through all of the coin. Oh, that's so frustrating. Okay. Uh, I'll pick those up later, and I'll just keep going down without coins. Do you have a light? Oh. You're kind of blind right now. <laughs> so how I do you know your idiots. coins are even Absolute put in the right spot? Idiots. Uh... Right. <laughs> <laughs> Is the fun thing about, like, try like... This just happens with Carcanos a lot, where I'm not actually very high wisdom in real life, either. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. We're all there. We're all there with you. I'm <laughs> going to come to the realization that I'm in the dark. <laughs> and I'm going to try to start finding my way back up. Alright, go ahead and just roll me a d20, just for, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> you make your way out. Okay. Who? Um, I was hoping you were gonna roll like a two or something and I... just be fucking lost down there. <laughs> I kind of also was. <laughs> this time, I will grab a light. <laughs> and then go back down. Just come up, grab a torch, and uh, go back down. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Man. And this time, I'm picking up my coins as I go back down also, so I have those back. All right. Well, now that the dynamic duo are in the cave proper, you guys start to travel down the passage. It starts out earth and stone the same way as the hill and the cave that you were in, but eventually it levels out to just rock, and it's a sh it's a very sharp decline. Like, at parts, you're actually, your boots are skidding against the uh, stone surface of the floor as you try and find perches. And as you travel, the air starts to get more humid. And eventually you start to see vegetation, actually, similar to yesterday. Wait, vegetation underground? <sighs> Moss at first, and then mushrooms. Some normal, some with an almost magical bioluminescence. Hell yeah. It gets to the point where to you might not even need the torch. There's so much natural bioluminescence from the mushrooms. Uh, I'm going nuts. <laughs> going absolutely I am, barrel. I am picking, like, I'm picking one of everything and just stuffing it in whatever bag I have. And this is around the point where Amberlosa finds the rest of the party. 
Alright. I'll be on to you. What do I see? Uh, you see Carrion sitting with her back against one of the walls. She's, uh, kind of gripping one of her horns and, like, she's clearly nursing a headache herself. <laughs> yeah, babysitting will do that. Carol is, uh, <laughs> looking at some papers, writing things down. And two of them cannot be located? Is that what's going on here? And Iran is fluttering at the uh, edge to a darkened entrance deeper into the cave. It's not that they cannot be found. It's they are in that hole and they are exploring. So I'm, we, I'm just waiting for them to come back. Or no. Whatever happened. Uh, I, I have decided it is survivor of the fittest. If they die down there, it's not my problem. I have a folded up cloak and kind of toss it towards you. Let's see. That and... For rations, a few other things that we can work out later. Fair enough. Matt, I'm going for a day and people are exploring caves. Was... Oh, also! The two people who are exploring the cave make me wisdom saving throws. Mm -hmm. God damn it! Because you've hit, because you've hit your first hour in there. I would, I would like to note that it was a sealed entrance when we arrived at this cave, with very sealed clear markers. She. <laughs> with very clear yeah. mar <laughs> With very clear markers of do not go beyond this point, because that is typically what an X means. At a plus two. <laughs> but what about curiosity and what about exploring the area? So, Maybe if there's something nice there. What I got like that was. They are idiots. Uh, yes, yes, they are. <sighs> that being said, it'd be kind of a shame to move the resource, wouldn't it? Uh, thank you for those wisdom saving throws. Hmm? You continue to travel. Oh, okay. You see, I don't like that because I know I didn't roll well. Is there anything, like, is it just vegetation that we're seeing so far? Does the cave branch out any? Um, you. There have been several branches, and I assume you would have actively explored them because of how how the two of you are but most of them end in dead ends within 15 to 30 feet i will say that at the point it started branching i would be doing a coin trail again as best i could right. just to if nothing else to mark which branches we had been down all right and specifically i would leave a gold piece at the one like that leads back up to the whatever i'd be using copper for yeah. the rest you're gonna be really mad, Q, if there's a rat down here that happens to like shiny things. <laughs> oh no. I can only see Time passes. In the darkness of this cave with no natural light except for the bioluminescent mushrooms that eventually the rest of the party runs into. You don't I, actually know how much time is passing. Mm -hmm. One quick thing. Teo is is keeping his ears plugged the entire time. <laughs> that they're walking. Keeping his ears out. plugged. Yeah. How are you plugging them? Just my fingers. All right. Mobile earwax pickings. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, it gets to the point where start to feel tired you've been walking for a very long time okay would you well okay. first would the forward party q and yvette around this point where everybody starts to feel tired would you two decide to press on or stop you do not know Wait, what time sorry. it is I mean, I'm down to take a break from yeah. walking. We'll take a break. 
Maybe not. Just completely stop. How long? Uh, like 15 minutes? Uh, what do you think? What do you think? Let's just make this mechanically simple and say a short rest. All right. Uh, works for me. I'll light a fire. Then. Would the other party press on or take your own rest? Mm, I press on. That's that's resource that could potentially get itself killed. I'm not letting that slip away. As you're walking the uh, the other four, you do see these coins that Q has laid out. It takes you a couple dead ends before you realize what the copper coins mean. But that does actually speed you up in comparison to them a little bit. And about 45 minutes after you've... Uh, about 45 minutes after the other group has settled into their short rest, uh, you stumble upon each other. Hey! Oh wait, I hit him with the yoo <laughs> I hate that so much. I will feed the yoo back. <laughs> Is it really wise to be yelling and such down here? No, no it is not. Could uh, everybody except for Teo make- oh, well, Could everybody make me a wisdom saving throw Teo with advantage? Yvette, Q, and Teo, as you're all- uh, As you're all kind of taking- you know, finishing out the other group's short rest, the rest of you are taking a breather before you keep walking, um... The three of you hear singing. You've heard singing, but it's not until you catch your bearings that you all actively realize that you hear singing. The other three do not. So. We hear this. End of your rest. Yeah, you hear this singing. Do we recognize it? melodic, high pitched. There are no actual words, it's just kind of a soundless melody. Just Is echoing it? from deeper into the cave. And it's a voice, not an instrument, correct? Sounds like a voice. Sounds like All two right. voices, actually. So it's no. Sounds time. like uh, two sopranos that are playing off each other. That's the worst kind, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is tenor erasure. <sighs> because, like, yeah. in the middle of the song, it just cuts to black. Where the fuck are altos at? <laughs> There are none in this cave. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so is now the time we realize this is a foolish journey and return to the surface? I oh, know, this was idiotic from the beginning. Exactly. I was hoping to buy something. So are you two done with your little adventure? Uh, <laughs> how many mushrooms have I managed to pick up? You can pick up as many fucking mushrooms as you want, my dude. You can pick up pounds of mushrooms. Alright, I'm happy. <laughs> I pick as many mushrooms that I can too. Alright. On earth. Are you because um actually when you guys it. pick up when you guys pick up the mushrooms, they do actually leave a bioluminescent residue on your hands. Ooh. Oh my god. Rave time. I'm not touching those things, man. <laughs> Absolutely I'll be not. It. Yeah, absolutely not. I'm <laughs> backing away. I just mirror it on the wall. And grab I'm... like six of them and just start wiping residue on her in patterns. On who? On Yvette. Alright. Like down your clothes and stuff? Yep, skin, clothes, everything. You said I could take pounds of these? I've put five pounds of these mushrooms into this box. If they'll fit. Alright. Like... Um, that's yeah. kind of strange stretching how much that that'll be like your you will have to pack them in okay. to make that much fit it's like watching a house fire you can't look away and yet you know it will only end in disaster all right i'm ready to go why are you guys so negative all the time no yeah yes, you are. negative and realistic and because you're realistically sounding negative right now I agree with you. Ever which way you like it. <laughs> right. Let's go. Now, before you all get yourselves killed, let's go back out of this cave. As you start walking back, 
about um, again time is really hard to tell in this cave but probably about 15 minutes into your walk back upwards which is a significantly harder climb mm -hmm. Q mm -hmm. Yvette oh. Teo Hey, we're not alone. God damn it. Because I. You find yourself. Off. Just. The further you walk back up this incline, back out of this cave, the more anxiety builds in the back of your mind. This overwhelming fear over the lack of knowledge at what is in the center of this cave. This. This. This singing voice. It's almost enthralling. I need more mushrooms. No, you don't need uh, anything of the sort. Keep going forward. I need more mushrooms. I start going backward. I'm not grab her. I actually grabbed her. Uh, Contested grapple, then, if you're all... As I just get dogpiled, apparently. Um. Yeah, if it's two of you, then just one of you roll with advantage. Uh, oh my god, it's gonna be easy. <laughs> oh! Uh, I mean, whoever's rolling with advantage could roll natural ones. That's true. Uh, on uh, me, I don't really care which. Which one do you want to do? It's up to you, too. I'm weak as hell, so. Well, so am I, so I guess we'll do me. Okay. So, advantage, athletics, right? Yep. Okay. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh between between Amberlosa and Iran, you two managed to get a Yvette in a hold. Uh, wait, why Yvette. am I in a hold? Or not an event. <laughs> sorry, you in a hold. I was looking at Yvette. They've tackled the wrong person, it's my chance. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you're now standing there holding Q. I need more mushrooms. No, you don't. You have five, like, no. you have too many right now. You, if you want more, I have more. Yeah, exactly. But there's more in the middle. You don't need them. <sighs> you have the same. How far away are we from the exit? Fifteen some odd feet, you said? Uh, no, you no. only traveled like 15 we feet are... up, 15 feet back. Or 15 oh. minutes back. You traveled like 15 minutes back up. And it took us, what, you two are hours to get here? Hours. You've okay. been traveling for an unknowable number of hours. Okay. Uh. <sighs> just need one. I just need one mushroom from the middle. I give her one of my mushrooms. Here, it's from the middle. Uh, do I believe him? <laughs> do you? I'm I'm asking if there's anything magical that would prevent me from believing this is really it. There's nothing particularly magical that would prevent you from believing this. I mean, you still want to get to the center of the uh, cave. You are still being magically compelled. Okay, then I probably don't believe you. No, the ones in the middle are different. Perhaps if you just take a small look. I thought you were the one that didn't want to come here. You too. I mean, one look can't hurt. Maybe oh, those are the famous last words. So we, we have come all this way, and it would be a shame not to explore what might be beyond. That's what I like to hear. Looks like you guys have been outvoted. So, you sure. continue to walk back into the cave, now that you have decided to see the heart of it. The three of you that can hear the song, hear it grow louder as you continue to travel further in, and as you hit the next hour marker, I would like everybody who has already passed to roll another saving throw. With advantage, if you have advantage. And, you know, I, I, Teo definitely has this thought in character, and I don't oh. know if I can express it currently as things stand, but out of character and in character before the fucking compulsion. There's definitely a reason this cave is for undesirables. 
God damn it, guys. This is a fucking garbage disposal for society. <laughs> that was a really raw line to be said in this instance. <laughs> because I'm angry. <laughs> because Teo's the first one that it clicked for. I It clicked and I just didn't think to say anything. And then I got <laughs> compelled. So now I don't feel like I have the ability to say anything in character about it. Okay. Well, being as Teo is like of a French accent, this is, you know, the equivalent of a guillotine, so... You're... yeah? Yeah? <laughs> to be fair, to go on with the French thing, there's a lot of rage boiling inside his head, and he's saying absolutely nothing. Mon ami, we are <laughs> fucked! <laughs> we are absolutely fucked. You oh, boy. continue to walk, and the singing goes louder, and eventually it comes to the point where the only person who can't hear it is Iran. Because meets beats. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but have any of us actually mentioned hearing singing? None of you have mentioned hearing singing out loud yet. <laughs> so, fellow party members... Are you guys also going towards that loud singing that is also attracting me? <laughs> like uh, a prisoner walking to their funeral bells, yes. Uh, really, I... I think I will escape, right? Hold on, hold on. I just... I, I just thought that was like tinnitus or something. <laughs> I just want to say, when Blake said that, he sounded like the narrator guy. From Spongebob, but what, the guy who goes... <laughs> you mean the dude with the, you mean the, dude with the fucking accent? Lucy, yeah. mon honor, va te faire foutre. I don't speak Spanish, boy. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> and eventually you find yourself at... Water. You're standing in water as the path continues to presumably travel deeper. Awesome, that's not triggering red flags at all. That is actually triggering red flags for a run, so he's going to try to do the thing that he did with a wolf. Stab it? Take out whatever <laughs> shiny stuff that goes out of his hands. God, let me make another saving throw. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so upset. Well, boys, who's ready for a swim? Uh, um, the uh, the compulsion. I will say. It makes you want to see the inside of the cave, but you are not actively being forced to walk towards. You cannot walk away. But. But we can sit wait, here at the edge. Theoretically. Theoretically, you could stay in place. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Q is going to have another idea, because that's gotten us so far. Mm. They are going way to, put it. to put the box at the edge of the water and then start throwing coins into it. Not the box, the oh, water. God. That is all an right. awful idea. Wait, You're hold going on. To lose all of your coins. I'm not throwing oh, all the mind. coins. Okay, never mind. Lucy was like about to like redeem themselves for a tiny bit, and then you just, <laughs> just talked about the coins, and never mind. <laughs> I mean, not to say that that's not also a horrible idea just in itself, but like it's a bad idea, and you're going to be broke soon. You throw coins into you throw coins deeper into the tunnel, deeper into the water, and. Eventually you run out of coins, and you all stand there looking at the uh, water for a minute, kind of probably talking amongst yourselves, trying to decide what to do. When Q, who has been... Well, you've all probably been staring at the water, so you all probably see this. Um, a pair of glowing eyes under the water. Oh, fuck all of that. And then, inky black hair and pale skin as 
rising just about to nose Come level on, is the nope. Nope. upper head nope. mm -mm. Mm -mm. of a feminine humanoid figure. I pushed fucking you ring. into the lot. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking ring. We're walking. <laughs> This is a ring, this is the grudge, this is some of that shit. I was gonna, I just asked what its ears were like. Um, you can't see through the mass of inky black hair. Or at all, because you don't have dark vision. But that's not their mushrooms. Yeah, and oh, its eyes are glowing, true. so I can see those. Yeah, and the eyes are glowing. Uh, I'm just gonna look at it. And just examine it. You, the mushrooms unfortunately don't go under the water. And the water is just as dark as this creature's hair is, so you can't see much of what's underneath the water, but the skin is pale, like almost paler than you, definitely. Paler than Yvette, even, since I think Yvette's the palest person in the group, other than... Paler than Teo! Wait a well, about, the, about the same color as Teo. Jesus. I was about, about to say, say I'm fucking marble. I don't know how that's yeah. possible. <laughs> yeah, you're both, you're, you're both, you're both, you're both, I mean, she, the skin is definitely thin. And looks almost, uh, it has that same kind of, like, moist quality to it that amphibian skin does. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm liking this image less and less as time goes on. <laughs> Watches you for a moment later, and then the head disappears back underwater. I'm gonna take my box full of five pounds of mushrooms, and I'm gonna toss a couple of them back in that lake. All right. Uh, you toss a couple. You toss a couple mushrooms, and as you toss the first one, as it sinks further deeper into the water, you can kind of see the bioluminescent glow of it, and. As the bioluminescent glow sinks, you see the shadows of two things swimming in the lake. Hmm. Right. And then one of them grabs the mushroom and swims up. Oh my god, they're like that big. <laughs> Let me have one of those the, uh, real quick. Presumably the one from before, assuming that they don't look nearly identical from nose up, holds up the mushroom. I hold it. And then shuts it at Q's head. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> one second. I say, do I. Is this bad for me? <laughs> she does hit you. <laughs> it doesn't deal any damage, but you do get a mushroom forced face. Uh, Are you sure that doesn't do pride damage? I laugh. <laughs> I laugh, and then I try to throw a mushroom back at it. <laughs> All right. Um, roll me an improvised uh, throw. That's we might be fleed from this purely by pissing them the fuck off and annoying them and just not being worth it. Oh. oh. Oh, well, we just sacrifice <laughs> her to them and just hope for the best. It uh, it splashes into the water next to her face, and in a flash, it is. Uh... Oh, sailing way oh. over your head as she critical fails. <laughs> I'm just gonna get into a, a mushroom fight with this thing. All right. Um, she will entertain your mushroom fight for. A solid couple minutes, actually, before presumably getting bored and disappearing back under the water. <laughs> Do I see anything else about its body during over the course of this mushroom fight? Um, as the waters, as the okay, understood, Jesus. As the uh, as you saw the mushroom sink and you got more of a glimpse at this thing swimming under the water. Um. Not that you would know what a mermaid is, but because Paco knows what a mermaid is, uh, relatively mermaid-ish. Oh boy. The weird legs. Or as, Relati as as relatively mermaid-ish. Probably about 15 feet long. 
I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, liking I, this less and less. I'm gonna ask like just a <laughs> you know curious question. When the bioluminescence like went a little under, were there you know? <laughs> it did it... not hit the floor, so you couldn't see if there were any bones. At the yeah, bottom of yeah, the that's floor. what I was. Um... <laughs> Wait a second, I have another idea. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna send Balake into the water. <laughs> oh God. You and you. Right. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Goodbye. You, uh, you send your fox into the water, and uh, the fox looks at you for a minute like, do I have to? Do I have to? Do I have to? Even as it's walking into the water? <laughs> You'll be okay, trust me. <laughs> Psychopath. <laughs> it paddles out a few feet into the water before there's the rest of you watch as there's a sudden flurry of splashes. I poof it back. You poof oh, it back? Yeah. You poof it back the second you see the splashes? Yeah. I just wanted to get a little, little traumatized. Not Alright. You're a horrible person. Uh, <laughs> Okay, we need to guys. contact like familiar re familiar <laughs> rescue services. Jesus. Yeah. I think it's officially safe to say that those things are not friendly. So, are there any rocks? It's now. It is. If you let me continue. Okay. As the splashing, uh, as the splashing dies down, and this thing realizes that it's not actually holding a squirming animal anymore. You two, you all, all six of you can actually see it from the shoulders up this time. And it's the other one. Uh-huh. Uh, this one does actually look different. You can tell this even just from seeing the upper half. Well, the other one had glowing yellow eyes and relatively, for, at least from the nose up, looked relatively humanoid. This one has ears that... You would definitely notice because they're pointed ears and uh, four eyes all of them uh, beetle black other than that relatively feminine humanoid from the shoulders up creepy do either of you talk it clicks at you and uh, dives back under the water are there any pebbles Just... yeah there are pebbles there... Well, they what seem to like, like one of them. I I, I want to cast light on a pebble. I see. Yeah, they seem to like glowing things or shiny things. Or shiny things. What if I just try bitch slapping one of my yeah. companions? I'm. Can I? Are you are you going to try and bitch slap one of your companions? <sighs> Probably. Can you please? I have hold person, Jesus. I will drown you. Can I please toss this shiny new pebble into the water? Yes. You toss your shiny new pebble into the water, and the one with the glowing golden eyes, mm -hmm. who seems to think that this is a game of fetch, uh, immediately fetches the rock and nails you in the breastplate. Or whatever armor you're wearing. Scale. In the... yeah. Alright. Before, before I toss it back, <laughs> Since it's a 20-foot radius of light, and I'm assuming that's more light than the mushroom gives off, <laughs> what did I see in the water? Uh, you were able to get a significantly better look at this creature. Uh-huh. Like I said, mermaid-ish. Mm-hmm. Imagine, if you will, a mermaid that has been living in a cave. Horrifying, yes. About Not quite 15, as bad as like a deep sea one, but still. About 15 feet long, hair probably to the elbows, wild, just floating around their face. The features, humanoid? But wrong. Humanoid in the same way that tieflings are humanoid. An ASMR humanoid. So it seems fine to me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Still no sight of the bottom of the water? Still no sight. It is presumably deeper than 20 feet. Yeah, and they're catching it and throwing it back. <laughs> and they're catching it and throwing it back. Uh, let's see <laughs> if I can toss it and it not gotta, get caught this time. We gotta get, you like, can. a hand built. Wait, better idea. Better idea. Uh, uh, slice on, like, 20 pebbles and then throw 20 I, of them in at the same I don't, time. I don't know if I can do all. that. The rocks begin flying back to you in a flurry as these uh, <laughs> mermaids just leap into action when you start chucking them. I was unaware we were playing with the freaking Mew Mold water polo team. <laughs> <laughs> they they do appear to be treating this as a game. You do actually hear the song change into almost a lighter and more amused one as it continues. It almost seems to affect your own moods as I, you... I've... I'm just gonna keep tossing the rocks I back say, and yeah. forth. Q is also like, really into this. E just each, like... time, each time I pick one of them up, I'm adding another rock, like picking up the nearest non-lit lit rock. I'm just adding more lit rocks as the time goes. <laughs> as, this, uh, as this continues, you do, as you're throwing the rocks that have already been tossed back and occasionally adding a light, another lit rock, you do eventually get to the point where you see you the bottom. Yep. Yep. Bones? Not as many bones as you were probably fearing. But it is, is... not a non-zero amount of bones. That, so like, does it look like that's still enough to be consumed? <laughs> I mean, I mean, they and they are not them, all they're... humanoid. Okay. Yeah. So they gotta eat sometimes. They eat things. It happens. Right? They're in a playful <laughs> mood, right? You're not hungry right now. If they're playing with us. If they were like hungry right now, they'd be like, get in the fucking water so we could. <laughs> yeah. No. No. It... No. I'm that's not how that the... works. I'm pretty sure this water. is more like a cat playing with its food kind of scenario. Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna cycle through all my languages and do the exact same thing and ask if they speak. Which um, languages do you speak? I speak Common Elvish, Abyssal, Infernal, and Celestial. As Amberlosa cycles through these languages, actually, Teo. Yes. You recognize the fourth language that Amberlosa speaks, and Yvette. You there recognize you every language that Amberlosa speaks except for the last one. Oh, except what? for Celestial. What do my rations have? Your old rations? Yeah. <laughs> oh, very, very, uh, very, very jerky. You are not entirely <laughs> certain as to the uh, <laughs> this may not be edibility jerky. of this. Uh... <laughs> this may just be some leather. <laughs> Yeah. What about the newer rations that I got? Yes, there would be there would be meat in those. You've got a bunch of jerky. You've got a bunch of nuts. You've got a bunch of uh, like hardtack. All right, I'm gonna take some of the jerky and kind of lean away from everyone else. Mm -hmm. Right. And kind of, kind of just dip the jerky, kind of partially landlocked, so it's kind of sitting half in the water and about half on the ground. I'm just gonna stand back about five feet away from it and just kind of crouch down and just observe for a moment. The one close to the one with the four beetle black eyes swims closer to you these except for the splashing when it when this one tried to capture the fox you haven't actually heard any noise from these as they're swimming they're very silent except that for the singing terrifying and gonna... the jerky just slides into the water i'm gonna go to the edge of the water and like oh, God. kneel down a little bit and are you kneeling down near this uh 
near this Not mermaid, or...? No, 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 no. I want to see if I can get one to come, like, near me, and I'm going to put my finger... Oh, like, God! ...into the water, <laughs> like an E.T. type thing. Oh, okay. dude. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I've got Misty Step ready, so... <laughs> Alright. Still, still sounds like a great way to lose a finger. <laughs> this is totally a great way to lose a finger. You, uh... You put your you put your finger in the water and both of the heads disappear. Ooh, can I see at all into this water? With there are a few. Uh, there are a few stone. There are like two stones that have been left at the bottom. The rest have been thrown back. That makes it so much creepier though, because it's just like partial like light filtering around. <laughs> yeah, you they they also seem to avoid the radius of the light because you don't see them swimming around. How mm. long are you going to keep your hand there? I mean, until something happens? Yeah. All right. Could you make me a test and grapple? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> As the rest of you watch as the one with the beetle black eyes just fucking. Oh no! A oh, hand, fuck. a hand shoots out of the water <laughs> and wraps around Yvette's wrist. And as the hand wraps around Yvette's wrist, the mermaid with the beetle black eyes actually lunges out of the water and grabs onto Yvette's shoulders using the body mass of her, you know, 15 feet long. <laughs> and... Misty and drags you under the water. <laughs> mm -hmm. Would you like to all roll initiative? I'm not drowning, I'm just seeing how well I can do without oxygen while being grappled by two creatures I thought were friendly. Two lovely oh. beach babes. <laughs> Two lovely beach babes. What beach? There's a beach. You're on the beach right now. I mean, it's, beach. it's technically a beach. Am By I the alone? technical definition Don't of a beach. Know. It is. <laughs> what a fucking horrible tour this site. No wonder this park closed. <laughs> I want our money back. <laughs> Oh, you can't have it back, I spent it all. Oh, that's fine. Um, how how likely are we to, like, convince that guard who told us to come here to come down here himself? Just... Oh, no, 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 there will be words later. <laughs> uh, this cave... This cave mermaid is going to drag it at 20 feet back and then 10 feet down. It's actually just gonna keep drowning you. It's not gonna... It's not gonna risk breaking ground. Hmm... Oh. For reference, I'm... you have ten. You have ten turns until you start taking damage from drowning. Like Minecraft. Does my <laughs> mantle of flames work underwater? Since it's like a magical phoenix fire or something. You can try. You can try it. Uh, fuck it, mantle of flames, I guess. All right. Go ahead and cast the spell. Alright, the rest of you see that bright light and dim light. <laughs> that as, is actually really good. As magical, uh, oh, that does actually light up, uh, that does actually light her up. With that, can I see any better now? Yes. Okay. I would like to misty step the fuck out of here. You already <laughs> used your bonus action. Nope. You it's already a bonus used action. your bonus action. Amberlosa. Then this one, because I trust you bet to take care of themselves. Um. <laughs> I, yes, that's the reason we're going with. We're going to just... Wow. Just 
riveting experience here. Alright, well that one misses. I got two more. You flash boil a lot of water. Hold on. <laughs> okay, yeah. Alright. Tap number two. My god. <laughs> You can Attempt. do it, I believe in you. It's a wall okay. reflection that is changing your perspective. So, unironically, I'm gonna go drown myself in my sink. I'm going to... Do something very stupid, that I know is stupid. I don't wanna okay. do it anyway. What you gonna do? <gasps> yeah, bro. <laughs> hey. Uh, she is also ten feet down. I. Uh, which one is closest? The one that is ten feet down is, I think, exactly thirty feet away from you because you just moved twenty. You. Be... I mean, Wait. I moved fifteen. Oh, you moved fifteen feet. Okay, then you can reach that. You can reach her with five feet to spare. Okay. You cannot okay. reach her. I, I reach the other one. And I do what I... What I do. What you do best? <laughs> what I do best. Wow. Damn! That... Wow. Both hit! Okay. Um, you shank the fuck out of this mermaid. She was going to try and drown Amberlosa, but now you have presented a much more tempting target. Mm -hmm. So instead, she's going to... Critical fail against you. Let me find a d6. So, this cave siren... This cave siren tries to lash out at you, Iran, with surprisingly sharp-looking claws. Mm -hmm. The hands are definitely less humanoid, given that they're both webbed and severely clawed. Wow. But the webbing and your cloak is a really bad combination when you crit fail in the and then roll a 1 on the d6. So she actually gets her hand stuck in your cloak as she tries to strike out at you, and she has to take the rest of her turn and her other two attacks trying to disentangle herself from you. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna drown her. <laughs> <laughs> you can certainly try. Two. Um, and the one that has... Wrapped our dear event. Fucking rude. <laughs> I'm going to cast uh, Toward the Dead. So. It passes. Uh... On event, I'm gonna cast Shield of Faith. Yay! Mermaid number one's turn. Um. Does a 20 hit your new AC? Yeah. I tried. I tried, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Does an 11 hit your new AC? No. Alright. Does an 11 hit the Shield of Faith, or does it hit your... It doesn't even hit my regular AC. Alright. Oh, and the last one was a critical fail. Again. But nothing embarrassing happens. But the first one hit. I can't tell who's doing worse in this fight. Us or the mermaids. Yvette, it's your turn. How much damage did you say, I say? Eleven. Eleven? Just gonna mm -hmm. half health Eleven slashing one. damage. Okay, we are going to Misty Step right there. Alright. <laughs> you Misty Step right there. <laughs> I am now on the shore. Actually, you can Misty Step to there. I'm sorry. Oh. Then I'd panic swim on the rest of the shore from there. Alright. <laughs> Fuck that. 
that. It, it's only that. it's only important because climbing out of the water is half movement speed. That's fine. I'm okay with that as long as I'm out. Ooh, fuck that. Fuck all that. And um, you know what? I guess. Oh. Do I win? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus. Yes, you win. Okay. I like also, that. The... That takes Excellent. an extra. Four damage. Yeah, because you still have a. Let's fuck yeah. up. And I think she also takes another four damage because she hit me too. I was counting that. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. He was very confused how Yvette went into the water and came out on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Basic physics. All right. Hmm. We're gonna give this one. Laws. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna give this another try here. Wow. Huh. Riveting. Uh, hits. <laughs> Are you aiming for the one, uh, fucking with Iran or the one that's one got closest us? to Iran, because I'm pretty sure that's the only one I'm, I've been focused on, and. Oh, you don't, you don't get away for free. <laughs> that hits. That hits. That does not hit. All right. I first use Soul Knife and then I try that. Can you <laughs> use Soul Knife and a cantrip? Yes, because Soul Knife is active and it's a weapon attack and it's one action. And wait, no. Blind Spot and Blind Spot is an action. action. Yeah. I thought it was, it was a bonus action. A... I'm just going to use Soul Knife. Alright, so the Soul Knife bonus action. Her turn. She's gonna try and shank you. Go for it. Does a a nineteen hit? No. Just kidding. Okay. It does. Okay. Does a fifteen hit? That does not. Okay. Um. Does a natural twenty hit? Nope. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Adamantine armor. I'm. I am resistant to crit. I want to know where you got adamantine armor, but I'll just let it slide for now. <laughs> <laughs> he picked it off one of the bodies and then went Yeah, yeah I, I, found believe, shiny I, armor. Belie I believe that I gave you that and forgot about it. Totally. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, minimum damage on the first one. Fuck you. Uh, four slashing damage. And on the crit. I am alive. I have. I have to That fucking terrifies me. What? That sound. I was looking for another d10, I'm sorry. Oh, I thought you were just rolling a shit ton of dice in your hand. <laughs> I'm just gonna dump out my entire dice bag and whatever number pops up the most, that's the damage you take. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's... That's 12 slash Fair. damage. 12? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm alive. I'm uh, barely are alive. You? Are you sure? <laughs> I am barely alive, but I am alive. I oh. can't even see your health. <laughs> it's this blending in with the green. background. <laughs> Perfectly blending in with the background. Let's say it's like one number after one. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> if we had to quantify it like that. Yeah, you have but, to uh, Iran, it. Is, Iran is underwater, and this is very dark water. You Zeus, we're third level. We don't have a way to res you. <laughs> don't worry, it's fine. I'm used Wait, to dying in SAS campaigns. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Tell me I haven't died in one of your campaigns. How dare you guilt trip me like this? Those pebbles, can I actually see the, where these two people are or no? Uh, you can vaguely see thrashing figures, but, um, one of the pebbles is around here, so you'd have a pretty okay, actually, yeah, you'd have a pretty okay view towards her, and the other one is over here, which, there's a rock in the way, so, you get, like, you get the out, 
lines of these two, you are aware of where they are in the water. Uh, we're going in. No, I can tell you from experience that's a bad idea. I'm going to jump in. Then... I'm going to reach out and, like... Aran is 10 feet down. Okay, I'm swimming 10 feet down. Aran... Yeah, Aran and the mermaid are 10 feet down. And I guess since both my hands will be... Fr I'm gonna, like, hook him with the end of the spear. And then, if he's willing... <laughs> what, is, what is that? Uh, that's his, uh... That's his spoon for being an amnesiac. I don't have one. Did I forget Neither to give you I. yours? Yeah, I don't have one. <laughs> I will I will send that to you in like uh when the session is over and I have time to go through my notes. I and if so you're still sorry. alive. You survive. <laughs> yeah. And if you're still alive. I, I I think I think your new character would be owed a boon just for dying so soon though. Uh no. it's a, it's a it's a butterfly blow. It's your butterfly brooch. But do you... Do you swap, I mean, I'm, I'm not against it. Alright. I would prefer not to, but I'm not against it. Oh, she t takes the attack of opportunity. I do indeed. Ah, it's a 14 hit. Nope. Ah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. I will attack this mermaid in front of me. Alright. That. that hits? And then I'm going to upgrade that to... Push, so I get to add... Uh, crap, what size D8. my spear? Yeah, D8. And um, what is your... That DC is... 13. 13? Okay, it is not pushed. Okay, well it still takes all that damage. Yep. Nice and damage. Now I will just uh, hang out here. Underwater. Underwater. <laughs> Theo? Alright. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to fucking pull the dead her for you, but uh... <laughs> It's fine. I'm gonna pull the dead of her. Oh, she actually fails. Hey, 12 damage. And then... I'm a... Oh, thank god. It is a bonus action. I'm gonna healing word her <laughs> on. Yay. I'm casting at the second level for you, Jesus. Thank you. That is more than half my health. I did what I could. <laughs> okay, back to the cave siren. Um, she is going to try to take Aran and drag him away because she does not like that they are right next to each other. This is not something she is a fan of. Uh, you do get that attack of opportunity. Uh, I can't. My reaction was to use tactical. <laughs> Never mind then. Uh, 20 feet this way and then 10 feet down. <laughs> putting putting you guys at the bottom of the of the floor on this level. Uh, can't come into a town. We can go to a cave though that we can be safe from undesirables. Thanks, town god. Oh, we've got to kill him. We've hey, got to really kill him. Yes. Oh, I have plans already. Can you make me a wisdom saving throw? Wait, Cause she's gonna people? sing at you. Ooh. God damn it! <laughs> and I had advantage, so. You do have advantage. Shit, I mean. Let's roll to see if I hear another 20. Still dead either way, am I? Maybe Iran's just tone deaf. Maybe I. <laughs> yeah, maybe <laughs> I'm <laughs> deaf. And I've been hearing all your voices in my head, actually. <laughs> That's a thing uh, I can do, I think. She's. She's actually gonna. pow. When you don't look enthralled. Oh, I'm being like, get that Cody B shit out of my ears. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll just do that. 
Oh. You know, oh, wait, you know oh, wait, it's magic, magic missiles. Have a, uh, doesn't actually yeah. have an attack, right? It doesn't. No, no. it just happens. Okay. And you can upgrade. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. So it's just the uh, it's just the eight damage. Okay. Eight damage towards the one trying to fuck up Iran. I'm trying to save you, Iran. <laughs> Thank you. That is very highly appreciated. <laughs> Between a vet and I, we might be able to get you out of there. We're going to, once again, take aim at this one. And... No, she's not a stereotype like you are, Yuffie. I know, but I'm just waiting for that elder to last so I can note on it. I'm just waiting on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird seeing this fireball just like magically sear straight through the water. <laughs> Aside from that, though, that's my turn. And I know you're trying to fucking put a <laughs> note on it, Blake. <laughs> Don't think I wasn't thinking of this since session. Uh, I'm going to try some. That my my natural instinct will tell me to, mm -hmm. but I don't have air around me, so I don't know how that works. <laughs> Do I get air out of my own lungs? Um, there are bubbles. Yeah, yeah there's fucking bubbles. There's a lot of thrashing going around around right now. <laughs> around. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from around. Going around, I'm going around Iran. Oh lord. I think just going around would be fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, going around is perfect. It hard. also sounds like a perfect way to say going awry, but like, you know, Iran. And also. Oh, this fucking shit went awry so quickly. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Why'd you leave us, Amberlosa? Uh, what? I didn't leave anything. Yeah. That's I all can... my turn. Beautiful. This cave siren is going to try to grapple Q. Wow, I cannot just win on these grapple checks. <laughs> Do you want to know the best part? What? Hmm. She rolled a natural two. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is... Q so did not make the cut for the local football team. <laughs> <laughs> Better luck next time. Yep. Just, just curious. You're a fighter, right? Yeah. Just double checking you. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just... You can always be dick built. <laughs> <laughs> next time. Could be. Um, and five feet down. Okay. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna see either of these two again. Uh, what, are they, what are they, two, three turns in? Almost outside of my range. <laughs> I remember she is 15 feet down. So, so I'm Pythagorean Theorem. When I'm doing math. You're dying. I'm trying You're to figure drowning. out You're drowning. Oh yeah, but besides that, I'm also doing math. Same. Math, dying, same thing. Actually, no, math is very nice. Yeah, Aren't maybe you for you. are always complaining about dying? I feel like my logic still holds. Okay, so I'm I about mean... 40 feet of distance to cover. <laughs> <laughs> As I do You're the actual Pythagorean out. theorem real quick. I hate how quickly you were able to do that. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. Let's go ahead. And because we've had such fantastic luck with these so far, try to get ourselves ungrappled. Alright. Natural 20. Oh my god. We are going to action surge and do this shit again. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Natural 2. Which, um, 2 plus 5 is Ties. A 7, so reroll. You break grapple. Finally. <laughs> so, there's just water above me, right? 
Yeah. And I'm 50 feet out there. I'm just gonna use my movement just swim straight up to the surface to get more breath. All right. Like I'm not gonna move, move laterally. You can move. You can move 15 feet when you're swimming because you have 15 feet swim speed. Yeah, I know. So I'm going to the surface. What I'm saying. All right. You are no longer drowning. And that's everything. Uh, I can do. She does get a. She does get an attack of opportunity, doesn't she? She does. But yes. I didn't do anything to stop that. Um. Does a. 19 hit? Yes, it does. Yay! Dale. So I can't see the one attacking Q at all, right? Nah. Not really. Go not unless you not unless you put a light spell on Q. <laughs> I, I think I would have to, I, I think that's a touch It is, but it spell, so uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna give that an attempt. <laughs> I will be attacking the one attacking Aranda with a fucking miserable damage. I feel you. They man. fail though! Oh boy! Every Two little damage. Bit of damage. Every little bit helps. Ah, uh, fuck me. Does eleven hit? No. She's not looking very happy with herself. I'm also not looking very happy with her. She's really slacking in comparison to the other one. <laughs> because you think she has disadvantage? Wait, I, I use my she action has to, to force her one of her attacks against herself. She has to re-roll one against herself. Oh. Uh, yeah, I was rolling with disadvantage. Um. Oh, does this hit her own AC? I just realized I was asking yes. to see what it was again. Uh, this does hit her own AC. Does she take full damage? It only says... Uh, Repeat the attack, attack roll against, roll against roll itself. Against okay. Uh -huh. Ooh. Alright. I bitch slap a bitch with her own bitch hand. Are we counting this as damage? Are we counting this as damage that Iran has dealt? Maybe. For I Joe, think, for Joe's no. record keeping. No. That yeah. Has yeah. Let's. The Be because let's... we'll count it because it is enacted upon one of his abilities. All right, then nine damage for your note taking. Iran's done a lot of fucking damage in this session. That is. Well, Basically, why I made that run. Aron and Yvette are both like critical machines as far as roll goes. Yeah, everyone else kind of slacking right now. I'm a I'm a critical failure machine. <laughs> um, I guess well, elemental ray. Can we change that element to fire? Would be like kick you. Uh, yes, but it misses. Fuck. Once again, throw one of those out there, right at this one. It hits! Yes. It deals damage! Hooray! Uh, Aran, you're the only one close enough to notice this. She's not yes. looking too hot. <laughs> oh no. I'm going to help her. So I'm going to offer one of my hands. Okay. <laughs> you offer one of I your hands. I offer a hand. That hand being to cut a bitch. <laughs> oh my god. god. I offer my other hand. But I miss that misses. my other hand. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to support her. I'm trying to help her. She's dying in front of me. What can I do? But she is definitely drowning, right? No, I'm at the surface right now. I will probably be below the surface in a couple seconds, but uh... uh that's exactly what the... <laughs> that's exactly what I was about to say. Can you make me a, a grapple check? Um, roll again, because you tied. Jesus Christ. Uh, um, okay. You are dragged 30 feet down. Oh, 30 feet straight down, okay. Uh, nope, 20 feet straight down, because she had to swim up. She's moving at half speed when she has you grappled, so... Gotcha, gotcha. Damn, this bitch can really take off. Uh... 
here we go again, as we are inventing underwater wrestling. Oh. <laughs> yep, you break! Kindly get the uh, fuck off me. I'm going to swim laterally as far as I can. I'm not going to bother with the surface. She's going to get you next turn. <laughs> I just got to get you her closer. Not have, you can't not have swim over me. And did you say the pebble was like right here somewhere? Like right here? Uh, the pebble is. Yes, Actually, the you pebble then change that. Right I would start swimming towards here? the light. So. Okay, the pebble is right here. Okay. And the other one, the other one is actually right next to Iran and uh, Beatles. Oh, this one looks closer, so we're going this way. So, because the only things I really have that can attack from range are Chill Touch and Toll the Dead, I'm just gonna keep trying Toll the Dead. And they're both, they're that both good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh fuck! Which one are you going for? The one attacking Iran. How do you want to do this? I don't know. <laughs> fucking told the dead. I just assume she sort of just like her head just sort of pops. You you are suddenly very thank this is underwater and you can't get a good glimpse at what just happened. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Aron is probably going to leave this water a little bit more traumatized. It is a good thing Jesus left right before that. <laughs> and just to finish out my turn, I hate the idea of being alone over here, so I'm just gonna <laughs> scooch. You're gonna join the Move. safety corner? Yes! <laughs> there's, there's no way in hell I'm staying alone. <laughs> Tail's wings accidentally push your vet back into the water. <laughs> <laughs> Misty steps five feet out. Quote unquote accidentally. I'm lit on fire, try me. I'm gonna step, move myself over here, and then I'm going to hold my action for a firebolt should I see any presence of them. Q. Mm -hmm. If this were a slightly more modern setting, you would be hearing the Jaws theme right now. <laughs> Motherfucker. Could you uh, please roll me a contested grapple? Oh, you actually passed! Thank fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she fucking. She swims towards you, and when she tries to grapple you, and you kind of bat her aside, she decides to swim past you, and she is now hovering near the light. That was a mistake. Alright, I'm going to throw out a fireball. Alright. No, Blake, I'm not gonna fall out like an Eldritch Blast as much as you want me to. <laughs> I just do nice. to my own. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, she does not appear to like that. <laughs> I'm sure she doesn't. I don't care what she likes. Like, I'm not getting to show off a lot of variety. <laughs> but this is a water-based fight, so... Pull the dead again. Son of a bitch. Critical fail. <laughs> How do you want to do this? Damn. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, I'm just the second verse. Same as the first. I'm assuming so. I, I don't know how Toll the Bell, like Toll the Dead works. Toll other the than Dead it, is psychic damage. Yeah. So other than just like the head sort of just popping, or them peeling over, I really don't know how else you would kill someone with it. All right. Um, you now have two very dead, very headless mermaids. Hmm. Oh, I'm really, I'm really glad that I'm really glad that Teo killed him because I actually was gonna probably throw one out there. <laughs> <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. I no, the... you weren't going to. You're just trying to torture Blake. <laughs> <laughs> Combat is over. You are free as birds. The singing has stopped. You know, I honestly thought that those mermaids were going to be friendly. I genuinely 100% thought that after we played that game of fetch... Nope. I didn't believe that shit I for a second. 
No, we were 100% food the entire time. Well, oh, they tricked me. Maybe you were food the entire time. Do they float up to the top, or are they still mostly in the bottom? Uh, they actually sink. Oh. oh. That's disturbing. Yep. <laughs> That's okay. Sink they will, and I'm gonna start making my way out of this mm -hmm. fucking yep. shithole. I'm immediately after Ambulosa. Mm. <laughs> How deep down I is am... this one? Oh, uh, no. Probably about 15 feet down. Can I drag its corpse up? Nope. Nope, it is Dude, heavy. You can tell why it's... It, it feels like it is made of pure muscle. There's not really that much fat on this thing. Which is weird for a water-dwelling creature, but... What is it? But, uh, well, it depends, no, it I isn't. Oh, I was thinking I was thinking like dolphins and shit. Oh. I was, I was picturing it more like sturgeon. <laughs> oh, that's fair. I was thinking mammal, you were thinking fish. <laughs> This thing is actually a fish, not a mammal, so... <laughs> it doesn't really matter, but I still would like yeah. to try and drag it if I could. If I can't, That's then gonna I'm take a gonna strength check. <gasps> yes, God. you can drag it out of the water! Q watches Q dives down, and then just like... It's like a fisherman, just... <laughs> <laughs> and they called me Ishmael. <laughs> <laughs> um... What I want to do to this corpse... Is a not a sentence I ever want to hear again. <laughs> yeah, please think before you say something like that. A, I want to try to get its heart out, and B, uh, let's get some meat. All right. <laughs> I mean, fuck it. Why not? It's Did clearly you say that with the. Didn't you say that with the goddamn yeah, behu? How'd that work out for you? Joe, Joe. Is this worth bringing up the cannibals in discussion? Joe, Joe Ambulos. <laughs> are Ambulos and Teo just gone? Just please let us just be gone. I mean, she's not there. Stopping. She just won't be underground. Yeah, nope. I'll, I'll stay here and look at what he's doing so he doesn't butcher his hand. Right. I mean, we still have these mushrooms around. Oh, true. Well, then you're on your own. Uh, I think Iran will stay with Q. Yeah, I don't think it's wise to live, leave someone who has the current intellect of maybe an 11 year old. Hey, that's an improvement. Not the intellect, the wisdom. That's There's generous. That's generous. That's really fucking generous. My, that's improvement. I've is... gone from 6 to 11. Yeah, that's like a double. <laughs> yeah. That means tomorrow he's gonna and now, uh, now you your 11 year old me... brain is facing moral questions like, is it cannibalism if. This 11 year old brain has no concept of morals. My alignment is question mark, question mark. Can you make me a survival oh, check? Ah, shit. <laughs> uh, you unfortunately mangle the heart pretty badly. Um, you're not entirely certain how tasty these cuts of meat are going to be, but I mean, meat's meat? Question mark? Meat's meat. <laughs> You don't. You don't know. You've been. You don't know. You've been alive for what? Yeah. Two weeks now. In my perspective, I've been alive for five days. Yeah. I'm gonna put a uh, cave fish woman meat. I'm not gonna lie. There's probably an instance as Amberlosa is thinking to herself, walking back to the surface, to this main area of the cave, and in the back of her head, she's going. I hate these people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Teo is really right there with you, Emblosa. Not gonna lie. They're thinking it to themselves, both of them separately, mm -hmm. about everyone. Which is interesting, because mm -hmm. they're clearly two sides of the same coin. Yep, yep. Alright, here is my last question for the night, dear children. Mm-hmm. Are you going to be sleeping in the cave, or taking a point of exhaustion? I mean, I'm not what, what do you mean, like? You're not going to reach the surface before you take a point of exhaustion, so you're going to have to camp in the cave overnight. Okay. Hmm. Uh, is this mermaid cave? Is this a still pool, or does there seem to be like an underground river? 
Uh, there was actually a river that was extending past the cave, but none of you t even looked in that direction. Okay, so never mind. Like, I mean, it, it was on the map. You could see it. There yeah. was another bank. You mentioned that there was a waterfall. Mm-hmm. So, like, obviously there's flowing water, so... Okay. I, I yeah. think it was more along the lines for us that we had bigger things to worry about than that. And also, <laughs> I'm not dealing with whatever might be further in the water. Yep, me neither. Because they had to end up here somehow, right? So... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Q will actually suggest taking the point of exhaustion, if nothing else, so we don't forget how we got here. Hmm? That is a valid point. We have coin. But what about the rats? <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair point. Theoretically, can Let's we make exhausting. a... Can we hazard a guess at how many hours we've been away from the surface? Um... Go ahead and make me a... Let's roll this as survival. Right, I'm gonna do the same because I'm actually curious about that as well. Even though I'm not proficient Fuck. in it. I mean... Amberlosa, you're the one who could hazard a guess probably the best. It's probably been about... Honestly, you probably traveled for a solid nine hours. Oh my god. You are tired. What time did we leave, like, the surface? Like, about? Like, where in... You left, like... Q and, uh... Q and Yvette left at, like, fucking 8. Yeah, we the left first thing left in, the like nine in the morning. So... Oh we god, have... so we're about 6 p.m. Mm-hmm. We have a choice of either taking a rest in this cave that has proven itself to be rather inhospitable, or we can take the exhaustion. And it's almost worth it to take the point of exhaustion if we're going to get a point, if we're going to rest immediately anyway, since it'll just, like, it's going to slow down the next day. Yeah. That's we'll have fine. to get a we'll have to get a late start. Yeah, I think I think that would be what Amber Lorsa would argue too, just because she really hates it down here. It's not comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably the same in Teo's mind. I mean mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. she can honestly relate with Teo the most despite not knowing anything about them. The warlock and, and the cleric. What a tame. <laughs> Then in that case, we will pick up for the last leg of the journey back to the next week. Okay.